The Taliban's are here! Hundreds are coming! Today, we have another video for you. Best modern war movies. We couldn't list all of our favorite ones in the last video, so we decided to make a part two. Get him on, go! We all come back or no one does. Danger Close. Danger Close is one of the most nail-biting tales based around the Vietnam War. It tells about the actual experiences of the Australian and New Zealand soldiers attempting to defend an area of Long Tan on August 18, 1966. We're heading to Long Tan. We're a day late and a dollar short, but if there is something out there, we will find it. As supplies run low and a North Vietnamese force of 2,500 encircles them, these soldiers must maintain their will to survive against the overwhelming odds. Then we up to speed, Colonel. Pinned down and they're taking casualties. Enemy strength estimates. This is 4-2. Enemy strength much bigger than I thought it was. The Battle of Long Tan is considered one of the most violent engagements of the war, with an ending that will leave you simply stunned. You think he can change everything with just one bullet? I think it might be more complicated than that. Hyena Road. Hyena Road is a Canadian war movie that was released in 2015. The movie follows the story of a group of soldiers who were tasked with building a road through the Afghan desert. I'm building a road, gentlemen. I'm building a road and it's going like a dagger into the heart of the enemy. But I've lost 36 civilians in the last four months. And this has got to The road is nicknamed Hyena Road because it's full of dangers and is considered to be nearly impossible to complete. This is the birthplace of the Taliban. 54,000 square kilometers of insurgency, tribal rivalry, and blood feuds. I need eyes on that road. There's gonna be fireworks. The movie is excellent because it does a great job of depicting the reality of war. It's not glamorized or glorified in any way. Instead, it shows the true cost of war and the impact it has on those who fight in it. It's not one war. It's a whole bunch of different wars. We're not playing games. Additionally, the acting is top notch and the story is very engaging. <laughs> Mosul. Gritty and full of action. Mosul brings viewers right into some high stakes Middle Eastern conflict. Kawa. A young Kurdish police officer joins up with the Nine Vest SWAT team. <laughs> These are all soldiers who suffered personal loss at the hands of ISIS, and they want to strike back. But Kawhi isn't allowed to see the whole picture and even understand the purpose of every mission. <laughs> In a haze of secrecy and violence, he has to negotiate the chaos and bloodshed around him as he slowly becomes part of the team. Mosul offers a rare window into the on-ground conflict in Iraq, and the reclaiming of Mosul in particular. Kill fight, bravo. Main strike. Man down, mate. Kajaki. This low-budget British effort works well within its knowledge limitations, making a change from the gung-ho hollering on a fair few US movies set during the conflict. Based on actual events, this tense nail-biter portrays the Kajaki Dam incident, when a unit of squaddies guarding the area near the Kajaki Dam find themselves trapped in a Soviet area minefield. If you've got a man down! No, please just charge me! We're going nowhere! Moving impossible due to location being minefield. If you appreciated the minefield sequence in the Clint Eastwood's Kelly's Heroes, Kajaki will take you on a whole new level of anxiety. What do I do? What do I do? You Intel estimates 5,000 rebels converging on your area. Everybody down! Tears of the Sun. The 2003 action thriller film follows a Navy SEAL squad led by Lieutenant Waters, Bruce Willis, in its rescue mission in the war erupting in Nigeria. 
My name is Lieutenant Waters. I'm with the U.S. Navy. I'm here to get you and your people out. Torn between their duty to follow orders and their sensitization to the atrocities that crosses their path, the team, led by Willis, is confronted with a high price. Either way. Taking heavy fire and we're no longer entering Nigerian airspace. Right now, you are on your own. The film tackles the brutality, devastates African lands when war arises, and the choice that reaches the people with the ability to help. strongly suggested that we abandon these refugees out here. It's cinemagraphic appreciation of beautiful African lands. Elite forces unit that's prepared for combat. You've got the green light. Three, two, one, go! Special Forces. French documentary producer, director, Stefani Rajabat tried his hand with an old school rescue mission flick in Special Forces. I had no choice. Ezra, leave now. This isn't happening. <laughs> Assembling a strong cast that includes Diane Kruger, Daimon Honsen, Dennis Minashed, and Cheki Baptiste Caro, when brutal Afghan warlord Zaif kidnaps Kabul based journalist Elsa Casanova and her friend Aman. 22 kilometers from the pickup point. Are they moving? Negative. <laughs> rescue chopper was shot down. It's a failure. They'll never pick us up now. French special forces have to swing into action before the pair's likely grisly on-camera execution. What do you think you're doing here, Miller? You're off reservation for a reason. What is it? I came here to find weapons and save lives. It's a little more complicated than that. Well, not to me it isn't. Green Zone. The movie shows life inside a green zone in Baghdad during the invasion of Iraq by the combined forces of the United States. Who are you? General, my name is Roy Miller. I'm a chief warrant officer with the U.S. Army. Why are you here, Miller? I came here to bring you in. All the armies reportedly invaded Iraq to dethrone President Saddam Hussein and free the people of Iraq. The screenplay of the movie is based on the non-fictional book named Imperial Life in the Emerald City. As long as he's out there, he's a threat. We have a plan. ETA? 12 minutes, sir. You take him out. I've got him! This is a kill, no catch or mission. The Taliban's are here! Hundreds are coming! This is the big one, saddle up! Everybody fall back, enemy in the water. Outpost. The movie depicts the Battle of Kamdash in Afghanistan that occurred in 2009, when 300 Taliban troops attacked a U.S. outpost in eastern Afghanistan. Our men are trapped up there. Our ammo depot is 40 yards away. There's everything we need to stay in this fight. Me do this. The battle was reportedly one of the most heinous in the U.S. Afghan War. The movie is based upon the events recorded in the non-fiction books named The Outpost, an untold story of American valor, published in 2012, that was written by Jack Tapper. Come on, your arms around me. But you're not gonna die, okay? RPG! Red platoon. We're taking this bitch back. We are overrun. 13 hours. The secret soldiers of Benghazi. Pull over for inspection. How willing are you to die for your country? I'm ready to go right here, right now. 13 hours takes place in 2012 in Benghazi, Libya, which was such a dangerous place that countries have extracted their diplomatic offices in fear of attack, except for the United States. State's under attack. Let's go, man. State's under attack. Let's go. We got to move. If you do not get here soon, we are all going to die. Near the country's diplomatic compound was a CIA outpost tasked to defend the remaining Americans against a wave of terrorist attacks. In typical war film nature, the movie features a lot of guns, fighting, and gunfighting. This Michael Bay film has garnered mixed reaction from critics. I guess all the blood and hypermasculine energy is just not for some people. Generation Kill, one of HBO's most acclaimed miniseries, Generation Kill delves into the 2003 invasion of Iraq. It was not just from the perspective of the American military personnel, but also from journalist Evan Wright, Lee Turgeson, who accompanies a particular Marine Corps battle station. 
the show attempts to touch upon the personal motivations of the characters for joining the war. As well as the post 9-11 anxieties encompassed in America. It also explores the soldier's mentality in depth too. That's it guys, if you liked this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.